Now, in the words of the late, great, notorious B.I.G., when referring to the only way to get out of the hood, he famously said, either you're slinging crack rock or you got a wicked jump shot. Now, Hunter Biden does not have a wicked jump shot, but he definitely slings crack rock. For the record, I am pro-life, and I thank God that my mom was also pro-life, because if not for her, I wouldn't be sitting before you as a congressman today. And since this past Sunday was Mother's Day, I want to thank my mother for choosing life. Good looking out, Mom. If you're a member of the pro-life movement, you will be targeted. If you're a pro-choice protester, you will be protected. And this is how the Biden administration puts their thumbs on the scales of justice. What we're really talking about here today is a selective application and enforcement of federal law. And I've brought some receipts. Under this administration, conservatives are being targeted. Our first example is the ATF. The ATF has targeted lawful gun owners by crafting a rule that would make 40 million Americans felons overnight. Of course, there's the FBI. The FBI conducted an unprecedented raid at President Trump's home at Mar-a-Lago. They used FISA research warrants against conservatives. They've attempted to put moles in churches to spy on radical Christians. And of course, we have the recent results of this Durham report. And of course, we cannot forget about the CIA. Just this last week, this committee published this report that a former intelligence official colluded with the Biden campaign to discredit the Hunter Biden laptop. This happened just days before the 2020 election. I say to that, well, hot damn, that sounds like election interference to me. They call this Russian disinformation. But that doesn't look like disinformation to me. This looks like Hunter Biden committing a felony. Now, we've heard a lot of talk on this committee about crime guns, and I would call this a Biden crime gun. The day after this report was, was released, there was no mention of this in mainstream publications. What did they talk about? George Santos. George Santos. Conveniently, George Santos was indicted the day this report was released. Coincidence? Well, you decide. But unfortunately for Democrats, there's only one George Santos to keep the Biden family off the front page of the Washington Post. So buckle up. This is Hunter Biden's gun application. I would like to direct your attention to question 11 Echo. It says, are you an unlawful user of or addicted to marijuana or any depressant, stimulant, narcotic drug or any other controlled substance? Now, in the words of the late, great, notorious B.I.G., when referring to the only way to get out of the hood, he famously said, either you're slinging crack rock or you got a wicked jump shot. Now, Hunter Biden does not have a wicked jump shot, but he definitely slings crack rock. Out of respect for the president, I'm not going to show any photos of Hunter with prostitutes and grams of crack, but we all know he has a checkered past. Hunter Biden lied on this application about his history of illegal drug use. He obtained a gun anyway and was never prosecuted. If we saw this behavior from Donald Trump Jr., he would have been in handcuffs a long time ago. But the bottom line is, is this, the ATF is focused on making 40 million law-abiding citizens felons when they should be worried about Hunter Biden lying on a gun application, which is a felony, by the way. There's no wonder why the American people have lost faith and trust in the federal government. If you want to restore trust, stop spying on Americans. Stop targeting conservatives and pro-life people and apply the law equally. And to the FBI, the CIA, the ATF, please put Hunter Biden in jail. I yield back.